today we'll be doing a quick trainer review on the three main trainers uh, I've owned during my time running. Uh, these are spanning over three years. Um, just before we begin, just to explain, I run in support trainers uh, with more emphasis on cushioning on the hill. Um, if you don't know what type of trainer you need to wear, I strongly, strongly recommend getting a gait analysis. Uh, this will be able to kind of follow your foot strike, uh, find out if you pronate, um, if you need support. Uh, yeah, I run in sports. Um, definitely good as a training trainer anyway. Uh, so we have three trainers here. Um, starting from left to right, you've got the Adidas Soda Glide STs. Uh, I got these in 2018 and this was kind of like my first adventure into the high-end market of running trainers. Uh, in the middle we have the Salcony uh, Guide 13s. Uh, these were last year, so 2019-2020. Um, and then finally, very recently, uh, end of 2020, uh, bought the Brooks Adrenaline SD21s. Um, so that's them. Um, so starting with the Adidas, uh, solo glides. Uh, as you can see, the style is actually really nice. Uh, I do like the uh, red and black combo. Um, it also uh, has this boost technology, uh, which Adidas have in most of their trainers now. Uh, so I found them very supportive, uh, very comfortable, um, and they seem to hold up fine. Um, Adidas work in partnership with, Contin uh, partnership with Continental. Uh, who obviously made the Continental tyres. So the biggest um, strength of these trainers I found was their grip. Uh, so much so that now I just use these for casual hikes uh, that aren't like too taxing. Um, however, there is one major issue with these trainers. Um, and it's part of the train that's probably overlooked a lot is the laces. Um, so I entered a few races in these, um, most notably the Hertfordshire half marathon and the laces just kept coming undone. Um, definitely poor quality design on the laces. I don't know if you can make out, but um, they're, they're not they're quite silky, they don't really hold uh, compared to the other twos which I'll, I'll go into. Um, that is a big problem. Uh, and I know also you can replace laces, but when you're spending over 100 quid on trainers, it shouldn't have to. Um, yeah, overall the design's really nice, um, really supportive held up well, uh, just the laces are a really major letdown uh, on these. If I was going to give them a rating, uh, I'd probably give them a 5 out of 10. Uh, and it's kind of put me off Adidas's um, going forward, but uh, hopefully uh, that can change. Uh, so next, uh, we have the Salcony Guide 13s. Um, so I spent pretty much all 2020 running in these. Um, and I probably did around 800 miles on these and they really held up well. Uh, there's more miles in these than I did in my car because of all the lockdowns. Um, and absolutely nothing wrong with these. Uh, probably the most supportive and cushioning, uh, cushioned trainers I've ever run in. Um, the heels are really plush and plump. Uh, never had any blisters in these at all from day one. Uh, and they've really held up well. Um, after around eight, seven, 100, 800 miles, they did really lose their kind of bounce um, and your, the feedback you kind of get from these, um, which is to be understandable. Most trainers only last about 500. Um, but yeah, they've really held up well. Um, kind of just going to use these in the gym now, I think. Um, the design is obviously basic, it's just plain black with a bit of grey on the sole. Uh, again, lots of cushioning on the heel. Uh, but yeah, really comfortable trainers. Um, if you just want something to walk around, really, uh, these are the most comfortable trainers I've ever worn. So, Salcony uh, Guide 13s uh, have been brilliant. And they could probably go another 800 miles easily. Um, it's just obviously the bounce feedback has slowly worn away. But apart from that, there's no damage at all uh, over many terrains. Uh, and then recently, I moved into Brooks. So these are the Brooks here, I've got the kind of winter white edition which I think looks amazing. Uh, it's something about white trainers that uh, are just so nice, so aesthetically uh, pleasing to look at. Um, and they've you know, maintained uh, their cleanliness I guess, um, try to be careful when running and that's always a worry with white trainers. There's a couple marks, these are like heavily used now, 
uh, but overall still very clean. Um, and the key difference between these two, uh, these trains compared to the other two, are the laces. So these laces hold up really nicely. Um, they also bricks have quite a nice feature where they have reflective guards on the back here, and the, the laces appear to be quite reflective um, compared to the other two, which have no reflection uh, qualities on them. Uh, so that's quite a nice little touch. Um, it's still early days with these, um, but I'm really loving them so far. Not only are they supportive, but they're really quick as well, uh, which is quite a rare combo. Uh, so you can kind of do all distances in these, I think, from a 5k to a marathon. Um, really impressed with these so far. Uh, so overall, uh, I already gave the rating for the Adidas, but I give them a 5 out of 10. Um, the Salcony Guide 13s are uh, pretty much flawless. I'd give them a 9 out of 10. I think the design could be a little bit more colour in it. Uh, they do do different versions, uh, but definitely these ones are a little bit bland. But apart from that, as a functioning trainer, 9 out of 10. And then the Brooks, I'd probably give a 9.5 right now. These could easily be a 10 out of 10 trainer uh, by the end of the year when I'm done with them. Um, and done a few races. At the moment, all my PVs are with the Salconies from last year, um, so we'll see if we can get any with the Brooks. Um, I'm going to be doing a full video review on the Brooks because these are obviously the latest trainers you can buy them now off the Brooks website uh, for £120, uh, which is quite reasonable for the high end market of, of trainers. Um, so, yeah, I'll be doing a full review on these soon, so look out for that. Cool, so that's just my thoughts uh, on the support trainers uh, I've used over my time running. Uh, let me know your thoughts if you've used any of these. And thank you for watching.